in Austin. The temperature has been soaring. So too have the emotions and the anticipation as number six LSU comes rolling in to take on ninth ranked Texas. Don't play very often, haven't played in nearly 17 years, but they share enough old high school battles. They share a border recruiting territory that, well, things got a little animated in pregame. A lot of jawing, a lot of smack talk. I don't think that they were applauding the fact that LSU still thinks they're DBU. Caleb on chase on, though, goes over and helps himself to some of Texas water on the sideline. I don't I don't think that was a peace offering from the Longhorns, no, necessarily. I, I don't think so either. <laughs> I think that chippiness has everything to do with Texas claiming DBU. Yep. LSU takes exception to who has the best defensive backs in college football. Go is fired up. Another guy who had some experience last year, transferred from Ohio State, has a new offense that we'll talk more about. He's very excited to have a chance to see where that offense is. And we are underway in Austin. Atkins will drive that thing right out of the back of the end zone. Those running backs fresh are also good in the passing game. All caught passes. Joe Burrow can do this, much like Ellinger does, a powerful, tough runner, and it's a go. Edward Delaire spins away, has the first down. Clyde Edward Delaire is finally dragged down just short of the 40-yard line. A little tempo here. Al Burrow takes a shot way down the field to the right side. Hey! Back in his home state, and York has the first points of the night for Coach O, and LSU has jumped on top 3-0. First down. Another look to keep LSU on as Dellinger going up top, and they're going right after, right after Cornell Flott. Fourth and goal. Ellinger to a wide open result, oh, and he dropped it. They had the right play drawn up, and Keontae Ingram couldn't haul it in. Burrow has it tapped and intercepted. Joseph Osai has it, and Texas is set up right back on the doorstep. Ellinger going right, being chased. Not much room, and LSU stops him again. Ellinger on first and second down. Jason turns the corner, can't get there, and Eagles catches it and keeps his feet. Brandon Eagles into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Balls on the sideline. Burrow down the middle, complete for a first down. Is Justin Jefferson on the grab out to offense. Burrow leaves it inside, and Edwards Delaire pops out of the crowd. Clyde's inside the 30 and down close to the 25-yard line. Burrow finds Jefferson again, second time on this drive. Burrow fires, and it's caught by Justin Jefferson for the touchdown. How size does what he needs to do, knows he's eventually coming back. He was trying to move seven just enough. There's a big load out of Baton Rouge. He picks up the pass rush, and the pass is complete to Jamar Chase. Oh, and his receivers. Picked up 13, and Joe goes right back to work. Into the middle, and he's got Marshall. Terrace Marshall is into Texas territory. This is a different mindset. Jones bringing the heat from the outside. Now Burrow's going to throw it to an open chase. And Jamar Chase has it. A first down inside the 25. Six. And York is true for the second time tonight. Gaining some confidence. Joe's hit 10 of his last 12 passes. And make it 11 of 13. Every time. Pick up of 18. Burrow right back at it. Into the end zone. And Jefferson is there. And Burrow with the quick strike. And LSU trying to put this thing in a hammerlock just before the half. Joe Burrow. Watch him hitch, step, throw exactly where he wanted that ball to be. Up, high, and back where Jefferson can adjust. The Texas defender never sees the football. And I'll tell you, as much as I love watching Burrow, first half goes to the LSU secondary. Remember that DBU who's in Texas is at LSU? After one half, it's LSU. 
They only gave him 3,000 tickets and they put him way up in the nosebleeds, but they are making some noise here in Austin as LSU has a 20 to 7 lead. That's the end of the first half. A different offense, especially Joe Burrow in the passing game. So they've got to make some adjustments and try to get Burrow out of that rhythm. If you're in that slot, he shows some toughness there. Texas needs six on third down and Ellinger's got it. Got his man complete, and it's Ingram out. And Divinity is back in the game, and he drops into coverage. Ellinger firing to the outside, and it's a first down. Texas and first catch of the night for Colin Johnson. And Ellinger. Touchdown, Texas. Burrow taking a shot, Chase is out there, and Jamar Chase goes up. But Chase, it's a matchup, he's been winning. Clutch, one of the nation's top kicking prospects, shows why. And here tonight. Ellinger, Sam, into LSU territory, inside the 40, and Chase out of bounds at the 35. Down the middle, it's in there, and caught for a touchdown! It's Jake Smith, the freshman! Burrow throwing it out, and there's Jamar Chase for the first down. What was he, four or five to the left? Now he's five of six. Nice. And the pop into Jefferson, and Jefferson has the first down. Joe Burrow into the end zone. Touchdown, LSU. Terrace Marshall. Keep saying it. Can take it any time they want against the corners. These corners are overmatched. We've got a safety who gets occupied by Justin Jefferson. It creates a one-on-one -on -one to the... All I know is Joe Burrow's had a pretty good night against this young secondary. 23 of 33 and 44 yards. Still has almost this entire fourth quarter to go. Joe Burrow has been like the guest professor. <laughs> Ellinger right on the money. It's Duvernay again with his seventh catch of the evening. Play clock getting down. Ellinger slant. Duvernay first down and touchdown. Took a hit, completed the pass to Jamar Chase. First down, LSU. Bringing him. Burrow down the middle, and Thaddeus Moss. LSU is driving again. Burrow to the outside and going down. The oh. Back to the ground. Edward Delaire has control of the corner and control of the end zone. LSU back in the house. It's back. The offense answers. Nice mix of run and pass, and what? Ellinger buys a little time, and he finds his man, Colin Johnson, for the first down. Close to the top of your screen, it's outside the 40. Here's Ellinger. A lot of room for Sam to run if he wants to. Ellinger across the 40, and he takes a big hit. So they're trying to take their shots when they can. He converted a third and long last time by getting 19, and they've converted it again. It's Duvernay making the grab. Oh, Ellinger can't afford the sack, but he took it, and guess who's there? The man who said this is when your defensive legacy is made. Heard in 22. Quarterback draw, Ellinger trying to get a chunk of it back, so fourth down will be more manageable, and he does. On the way, one possession game. Burrow complete, it's Jefferson. Here comes Pete. Burrow getting pressure, and Burrow sacked. Jefferson, first down on his way, and that might be the knockout punch. And that is the difference.
Knicks and LSU. In to bring the pressure here and here. Watch Joe Burrow work his way, navigate his way, and throw it right in the face of another blitzing safety, Chris Brown. And then there's Justin Jefferson doing what he does after the catch. He's had a huge night himself. But this is incredible. Look at the ball position. Two hands on the ball, protecting it. An accurate throw. Third and 17. Just amazing to see Joe Burrow working tonight. Into the end zone, and it's good. Jamar Chase. And a little smile starting to creep around the edge of Coach O's. Texas has had chances tonight. They've come close, and they're still hanging around and trying to make one more big play, and Ellinger makes another one. So if you're going to give up a quick touchdown, you might as well do what Todd Harris did. Into the end zone, and a quick touchdown is there, and it is Duvernay. And Texas, maybe just the slightest of hope. The big hop, it's loose, it's loose in Texas if they controlled it, if they controlled it before it went out of bounds. And now it looks like LSU. But Colin Johnson oh my goodness. went airborne to come up with it. And just, I don't think he was able to hold on to the football. What a shot he had at, oh my goodness. Takes a perfect bounce, goes somehow just right through all the LSU players, but he never see the ball on the ground, control. never yeah. had it. Absolutely is agonizing for a player of his caliber, just right there, he, he landed in bounds and he just been able to secure it. it. I mean, there was no question that he was in bounds when he hit the ground and these two warriors meet. I, I've called the mirror images and they are, and they both were valiant. There's play. Tom Herman who yep. recruited Joe Burrow to Ohio State. Great respect and admiration for one another. And I know it's great for Tom Herman's sad to lose, but incredibly happy for Joe Burrow and the way his career has turned out and what he has in front of him this year with this offense and his football team. Do you think that talent would find its way out anyway? I want to take you back to third and 17. You put yeah. the ball in Joe Burrow's hand and you threw a touchdown strike. You know, Describe we, the decision to attack. We trust him. You know, we talked about going four minutes. Steve thought we could move the ball. We put the ball in our quarterback's hands. He got the job done. I have to give credit to Texas. They played one heck of a ball game. Over 470 yards passing out of this offense. What impressed you most about the air game? I do believe that the way we protect the quarterback, the way we throw the football, the game plan by Steve is making the callman by him and Joe Brady. Outstanding. And you got to give the credit to our players. They won the game. All right. Let's talk about this passing game and describe the difference that you feel being on this field and the ability to have three receivers with 100 yards receiving in one game. Yeah, that's big time for us. Uh, but I want to give a shout out to the O-line that battled all night. You know, Texas was blitzing us um, playing cover one in the second half and our O-line stepped up with the challenge as well as our backs and pass protection. I saw a long embrace with you and Coach Herman over there. What was the message that you wanted to send to him? Just that we love each other you know we have so much respect for each other um, we stay in contact uh, it was great to get to compete against him and, and i just love that guy thanks for your time joe Congrats. thanks and joe maria thank you very much for the ford wrap up let's go to cassidy Hubbard.